I um I drive Bart. I'm the Bart kind of I'm the Bart dude. So um about three times a year we get to bid and so we can go other places. You can take different shifts or you can go to a different yard or whatever. And usually I go between I work at a daily city in Millbrae or work at a Richmond. So um last summer I was working in Richmond, and then all of us were sitting around this table in the break room and we started telling poopy stories. You know, people taking a crap on Bart. And, um, everyone had their stories, and then this old-timer dude, and he's in Concord a lot, and that's where all the old-timers, they all work out in Concord, and he starts in about this story. He's like, I mean, his story was, there's this fucking nasty motherfucker that shits all around, so no one will fuck with them. And I'm like, I'm a storyteller, so like I always interpret, and when people are telling me these stories in my head, I come up with my own story, and I'm like, like legend has it, there's this cannibalistic humanoid underground dweller, you know, that rides bar during um, revenue service, and shits a protective circle around him, so no one messes with them, you know? And this is what I'm imagining when they're all telling me the story, and I'm like, that's fucking fake, dude, that does not happen, and this dude's like, Yes, it does. I'm like, uh-uh. And then some other guy's like, uh-huh. You know, it totally happens. I was like, okay, whatever, dude. So then, during the fall, I pre I had a shift. I was working in um, Daily City in Millbrae, and I was mostly a yard shift. So I was in the yard, like, getting trains ready for, like, morning commute, evening commute. Or, like, if a train goes out of service, we go up to Daily City, we bring it in, but we take our spare train out there, and then there's bad order cars on it. And the better car is the car that's broken. You know, like if the brakes are locked up, or if someone takes a shit in the car. <laughs> and so on two different occasions, this is in fall, this is like three months, two different occasions, trains have came in, and it was like this mysterious, like, shit circle. You know, like, like, I was like, and I was pretty impressed. I was like, yeah, so you can like totally shit on demand and just do this. <laughs> You know, it wasn't like super even and perfect, but it was, you know, even pretty good. I was like, damn, you know, and so, and everyone's disgusted. And then, you know, you guys live in the mission. You know what human shit smells like. It's disgusting. It is like, there's nothing, there's nothing to compare it to. It's just so fucking, it's just disgusting, you know, and you hear, it's funny. People will call in on the radio. And that's always my favorite part of the day, one of my favorite part of the day, is when I hear someone call in, like, gagging, like, ah! Ah! I'm the guy out of my brain, you know? And you're just like, crack it up. And are like, dude! <laughs> you know? And then they get back to the break and we're all laughing, you know? And so, um... So then, on, now fast forward to Christmas, you know? So I got this shift on Christmas, working from um, 4 p.m. till 2 in the morning. And it's a sea line. And the sea line, if you guys have been here since the 90s, that's, Bart used to only go to Concord, so it's called the sea line. But it's a Pitzer Bay point to the airport. It's like an hour and a half ride. And so, and that's the longest freaking, that's the longest loop. You go there and then you come back. And so, it's Christmas night, and it's about 10 o'clock at night. And my train's supposed to leave at 10.08, you know? So I'm like at the airport, I'm all ready to go. I'm like kind of, kind of dinging around, it's like 9.50. And then there's like this an announcement on the loudspeaker. It's like, Kelly Beardsley, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay. You know, get to the train on platform two. And I'm like, okay. And I'm walking out there and then I'm on the radio. I'm like, what's going on? You know, I'm still on my lunch break. And they're like, oh, you know, the operator fucked up and he took the last train and now he's not here and blah, blah, blah. So we need, and then now the train's like six or seven minutes late. I'm like, okay, fuck, okay. And so I get on, and right when I opened up the door, it's like a five-car train, I smell the shit. And I'm like, fuck. And in my head, I'm like, that motherfucker is here. And he smelt it, and he bolted, and he's hiding somewhere in the airport, you know? He's not missing. He's like, he's not on the wrong train. He's here. But now I'm on this fucking train, you know? And I'm like, and I'm, I'm like super just like, that's disgusting. But you know, it's like six minutes late, so I don't have time to like figure out where the guy went dookie or anything. I'm just like, we gotta go, you know? Like, Central, he's like, you guys gotta go. You know, that train is like six minutes late, and that's like 600 hours to them, Central. They're like, they all go by seconds. You know, everything's like, you've been there 198 seconds, and you're like sitting there trying to do the math. You know, and I'm like, uh, 
three minutes. You know, I'm like such a like, I'm always like, okay. So they're like, they're like, you gotta go, 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 go. And I'm like, okay. So we take, and then there's like people in the car, which I find hard to believe. I can't believe there's people actually in the car, you know? And there's these like tourists, and they're eating. And I guess they're just thinking they're like in Europe, and I'm like, I guess they just think that they're in America and it stinks like shit, you know? And um, and I don't know where the shit is coming from, you know, because I didn't have time to go run it. And then I don't know who did it. I don't know if they did it and they're not on the train anymore. I don't know. So I'm in there. So now we go to like, we're at like San Bruno and I call the tax, you know? And I'm like, because those are usually guys we call when someone pukes on the train. And I'm like, hey, you guys, someone, you know, someone took a crap in my new car. And they're like, it's like, oh, it's Christmas night. Night and there's no system service, they're only at the end of the line, so you gotta wait until you get to Pitzer Bay Point. I'm like, dude, I'm at fucking San Bruno. You don't say the F word, but I'm like, dude, I'm at San Bruno. It's like an hour and 23 minutes away. And he's like, I'm just telling you, you know? And I'm like, okay. So then we get to like, since first people are being kind of polite, you know? Was are going like, oh, you think so? Like, get the game. And I was like, really? Okay, I'll report that, you know? And I'm like, okay. You know, and then we're moving along, and then like, then you start getting into the mission, and there's like, people are wasted, you know, those people like had a really shitty Christmas, and they're wasted, and they're getting on the train, and then they're like, you get to downtown, and all those downtown people are getting on and off, and they're like, man, someone fucking shit on your train, dude, and I'm like, I know. You know, I'm like, I know, I know. And then, this is the best part, so I call... Tango tech, you know the tech, they just call him Tango. I go, hey man, I'm serious, this is like, this is a serious situation here, something totally, it stinks really, like, the worst, and I'm gagging, like, I can't even tell you, I can't explain it, it's just, it's, you don't know the position I'm in right now. So he has a fucking station agent bring me a can of Lysol, a poster. And I was like, and they can see on the cameras, and I'm like, really? You know? I'm like, okay. So then, we're going, and then now we're like getting into like West Oakland and stuff, and people are really getting pissed. And I'm still shocked that people are still in the car. Everyone's sitting there like this. You know? And I got the windows down, but when you roll the windows down, everything gets, all the air gets sucked from under the door, all the smell. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just leave the windows closed, whatever, you know? And so we're going and going. And then we get out to like Lafayette and Arenda, and those people are out the train, and they're all annoyed, you know? They're just like, I can't believe this train is blah, blah, blah. I was like, I know. And then this one dude gets on at Concord, and he walks through the train. He's like this big dude. He's like fucking like 400 pounds. He's huge. And he comes and he sits right behind me, you know? And I'm like, hey, man, you know, how's it going? Why are you in this car? And he's like, oh, man, the, all the other cars stink so fucking bad. And I was like, where is it? Because no one would tell me where it was. You know? I was like, where is it? You know? And um, he's like, it's He's like, it's in the lead, it's in here, it's in this car, you know? And then so we get to like North Concord Martinez, that's a stop before Bay Point. And there's only a few people and I see two little heads, you know, like kind of sleepers, you know, we call them lodgers. The dudes that just ride all day. And they see his little head like, like just bobbing up. And I'm like, which one is it? And, I'm, and I nicknamed this guy the Poopy Man. And I was like, I'm one of the Poopy Man's on my train, you know? Because this is like this legendary guy. And I was like, oh my god, the Poopy Man's on my train. And I started to get a little excited because I was going to be able to see the Poopy Man. I was going to put a face to the guy. And then so we get to the end, and finally we're like, like, a minute before we get, like you call at the end of the line, and you're like, hey, this is 373, I'm coming in on platform one. You know, I got five cars, and in case, you know, they didn't tell you, someone crapped in my front car. You know? And they're like, oh yeah, we know all about it, that train's going out of service. And I'm like, okay. You know, and we come in, and we're telling everyone, it's out of service, out of service, and the lodger dudes, they never want to get off. And I'm like, oh man, I gotta see it. I have to see the poopy man. <laughs> you know? And I kicked the door in, and it was. It was like shit all around the seats. And it really works. Like, to keep people away from him, whatever he's doing. Because all of us just stop. We're all, Aah. you know? And we're like, dude, you gotta get the fuck off the train. You know? Like, we're not nice. We're like, get the fuck off the train. You know? You can't ride this train anymore. Blah, 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 blah. And he gets off and his pants are totally like around his ankles. He's got shit all over his ass. And then, 
And then he gets off, and then, you know, like, one train comes in a one-minute platform, the other one takes off. He fucking walks across the platform and gets on the other train. And I was like, that's the poopy man. I'm like, that is the poopy man right there, dude. That's him, you know? Get him. And then, you know. But, um, so, I'm, I'm, that's the end of my story. Thanks, you guys.